24, 2007 was the day I delivered Heather. She weighed 8 pounds, 10.6 ounces, and was 20 and a fourth inches long. They had taken her for test after she came out and was not moving her left arm. Heather's pediatric doctor told us four hours after delivery she had had a brachial plexus palsy injury. I was totally dumbfounded. I had no clue what brachial plexus palsy was. I felt my life had been pulled right out of me. Words could not express how I felt that day. As I wiped away the tears of confusion and anger and hurt, I began asking her doctor, what was brachial plexus? How was this going to affect my child? Was this a permanent injury or how did it happen? She had then told us that it was a birth injury and left it at that. The delivery day I longed waited for became a complete devastation. I could not enjoy my new life because I was in shock of the news. And I had so much going through my mind. The tears of joy were wiped away by tears of pain. I had so many unanswered questions and I couldn't understand how or why this had happened to my precious little child. I didn't know this injury existed. On March 7, 2008, it was one of the happiest days of my life. That's the day my third son, Cameron, was born. But during Cameron's delivery, his shoulder got stuck. And when he was born, we immediately knew something was wrong. Babies naturally move both arms, but he was only moving one. I instantly started praying. Lord, please let my son be all right. But the x-rays show that he had a broken clavicle. But we soon found out that was the least of our worries. His pediatrician told us she thought he had a nerve injury called brachial plexus palsy and explained what it was. I wondered, would this be permanent? When Cameron was just four days old, we met with Dr. Gregory Borchell at St. Louis Children's Hospital and he confirmed that it was indeed a brachial plexus injury. We immediately started physical therapy for Cameron's arm at Children's Hospital and at home for every diaper change. He was too young to have a 10-hour nerve graft surgery where they take the nerves from his legs and place them in the brachial plexus in his neck. But the doctors assured us everything would be all right as they wheeled him through the doors for surgery. My wife and I stood there crying and holding each other as tight as we could. I would not wish the pain and helplessness I felt at that moment on anyone. But with support from our family members, we held strong, and the surgery was successful. Even with the surgery, he is not expected to gain full movement of his own but we're just hoping he improves enough to perform daily activities. Nerves grow very slow at only one millimeter per day, so it would take two more years for us to see the final results of the surgery and to see if further surgeries are needed. This is a lifelong disability my child must endure. Before this happened to him, I didn't know this injury existed. My injury was due to a breech birth when my mom was 27 weeks pregnant. The doctor had to pull me out because I was blue and dying. My parents were not told about any problems with my arm because it had been missed with all the other urgent complications. It was only noticed later on when I was almost three months old as I was leaving the NICU. The doctor just told my mom to pin my arm to my chest. They brought me to a physical therapists and they were told to do range of motion exercises and to keep me active as I got older. I wasn't in everything as I grew. Swimming, kinder gym, ballet, figure skating, and playing on the park equipment. When I was 14 years old, I had a latissimus dorsi transfer which worked to help improve external rotation. Although I had my fair share of trials and challenges, I excelled in figure skating and competed. I loved learning, got my BA in child studies, and taught pre-K. I also got my physical therapy degree and worked with athletes. I then went to nursing school and got my RN, which is what I truly love being. Nothing can stop me from doing what I want to do. 
My parents didn't know this injury existed before it happened to me. I didn't know this injury even existed. I didn't know this injury existed. I didn't know that this injury even existed. Say cheese.